friends are having some technical difficulties. There we go. Now we're here. Um, the power went out just as I was about to go live. So that was less than ideal. Um, and now I don't seem to have the right setting. Hold on one second while I try and get the music playing in the background. Okay, we should be hearing some music right now, I hope. Oh, <laughs> what a disastrous start to a stream. Jeez, like seriously, I opened up YouTube. I was like getting ready in OBS to click the button. Um, and yeah, the power went off. So maybe the universe doesn't want me to stream today, but hey, here we are. Um, here we are. Um, I am going to dive in today into streaming more of the design work on my personal site. I started it uh, yesterday and that was really fun, really fun stream. Um, I w got a long way with it and I'm excited to continue with it today. Uh, as with yesterday, please let me know if anything, I don't know, goes weird with the, the setup, the volumes, stuff like that. Um, Cause yeah, everything seems to have reset itself. So that's not ideal. Just getting ready to share my screen. Uh, open up Figma. How are you all doing today? Hey Eric, hey Lau, nice to see some co-working club members here. All right, um, and I did remember to start Epidemic Sound in Chrome rather than Safari since yesterday. Uh, Safari seemed to screw things up a little bit. Are you planning on working alongside me today? Are you planning on just watching? Let me know. We are gonna switch over now. Hopefully this works, cause I did not test it before I went live. Okay, good, there we go, we're seeing Figma. Um, okay, so as a reminder of where we ended up, or maybe if you weren't here yesterday, I am redesigning my personal website. The current one just promotes the content that I make. There's no real space for the promoting the products and services um, that I offer. Yeah, I just need more from my website now, basically. Uh, we explored a bunch of different header ideas. I did a full layout of the page and like basically bringing this scribbled wireframe to life. Um, and so, yeah, there's many, many, many little design problems to solve here and it's gonna be fun to work through them together. I thought on this overnight and um, this was how we sort of ended the stream yesterday was thinking about, do I wanna do this idea of a bottom navigation or do I go for a top navigation? And I think I'm gonna stick with the top navigation, but what I also think I'm gonna do is um, take this bottom nav idea and bring it to the inside marketing design website. I wanna do a little update to this. I think that I wanna have there be like more of a difference between this site and my personal one. And right now with them both having the purple background, I think they're a little too similar. Um, so yeah, that, that'll be a different stream, a different time, I guess that I get onto this. Um, but I would like to update this site for the new season. That seems to be what I do. I built this version of the site was um, what I released when I released the first season of Inside Marketing Design. Then I made this one when I released season two. And so we'll make another one for season three, you know? Right, what's happening? Doing digital bullet journal templates, nice. That's fun. Open up some spec documentation to send to a sign manufacturer. Ooh, that's cool. Figuring out like how the design you've made is gonna be represented in, um, in physical form, I like that. Wolfram has asked twice if noise cancellation works if I wear it on top of my hair. Um, I guess so. I don't have noise cancellation on right now though. I have my headphones on transparency mode when I'm streaming. And yeah, um, thank you, Leah. I'm glad that you like Inside Marketing Design. New episodes, I'm aiming to launch them in September is the goal. I've got some very exciting companies lined up already. So that's cool. Um, it just seems like each season Oh my God, I shouldn't say this, I'm gonna jinx it. Each season it gets earlier, uh, easier to book the companies that I'm really excited about. I hope that it keeps um, keeps being easy, but yeah. Hopefully September is when we'll start seeing them. I'm um, currently looking to lock down an editor 
for them. Um, like someone who can handle the editing of the video and the audio and also making clips and things. Yeah, I'm in talks with a few different services and companies right now. And Webflow are a sponsor again. So that's exciting. They were the sponsor last time. I don't know if I have this mocked up in here. Did I never mock it up? No. But Webflow, as you, I clearly use them as the example in my design mockups. Um, they sponsored the last season and they've come on board to sponsor this season too, which is fantastic. I end up honestly not really making money from this, but it covers the editing costs. So that's nice. One day I will get confident enough to charge enough that I actually get a good profit from it too. Excuse me, I need to cough. Where's my mute button? Oh God. Oh, excuse me. I don't know which is the right button to push anymore on my stream deck since I have things set up for streaming both to Twitch and, and to YouTube. Oh, what is wrong with me? Okay, anyway, enough banter. Um, let's get back into it. So, like I said, I think I'm gonna go for this version of the navigation and I'll probably spend some time designing the menu today because I just feel excited about that. But um, yesterday after I signed off, I, s I kept playing around like later on after a meeting that I had with this bit here and I was really liking the idea of putting my email sign up in a box. Previously I had it like this and I think this is fine and like I don't know maybe I'll come back to this um, I don't know but I just liked the idea of giving it more of a more of a thing. So this is what I'm going to continue with down here. But we'll bring it into a new iteration on this page. How are you all doing today? It's nice to see you two days in a row. <laughs> like, I know that there's people in the chat right now who were also here yesterday. It'd be fun if this could become like a daily thing, huh? Hey Julian. Hey Long. I'm glad that you enjoy the show even though it's not um even though you're not a marketing designer, that's cool. Okay. Let's bring in Hey Asaro, nice to see you here. That was so weird, I don't know why our power went out. Barrage. Got a got a good bunch of people here today, huh? Okay. Um, two day streak. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? I don't know if I'll get to stream tomorrow. I've got a bunch of calls um, tomorrow afternoon. Some um, mentoring sessions. So who knows? We'll see. Um, something else I did was I don't and I don't know if I like it was take shorten this line here. How am I feeling about the season of F1? I am crying in Mercedes. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit sad, but overall really enjoying the racing itself, not enjoying a lot of the like surrounding things around it. Like the, all the abuse that people got at the Austrian Grand Prix is just shit. Um, and like, I don't know, Nelson PK bloody, yeah. I don't want to talk about it, but that's just just a little bit sad the way that Formula One seems to be going, you know. Congratulations, Jonathan. Well, I can tell you that if you want to head to InsideMarketingDesign.com, then there's plenty of um, what well, .co. I don't know if I've set up the .com yet. Someone bought it for me, which was really kind, um, but I need to check that it transferred. Head here, listen to all the episodes, and uh, there should be lots, lots in there. But basically, yeah, you've got this.
I want to have some form of like a little call out bubble here. Yeah, what do you think of um, where I've ended up with the photo as well? Press command Y? Wait, why? Oh, wow. <laughs> why did you want to see that, Arena? <laughs> wow, I've never used that mode in my life. <laughs> but yeah, I've come to quite enjoy this photo. Um, I do think if I had one where I was, no, I, yeah, I like that I'm looking at the camera. My other option could be to go back for this one. Oops, that was clearly on crop. Hmm. It's kind of nice that this is like in the same theme as the others, you know, like I'm clearly wearing the same thing. But I'm also kind of just standing there doing nothing. I don't know, what do you think? This photo where they do all seem to like fit together better, I guess. Um, or this one here. Where there's something a bit different. Maybe a slightly different crop on this image so that we're not promoting the printer or something. <laughs> You like the walking one, Jock? I'm just worried it's too busy. But I could always get it in Photoshop and like darken this gate a little bit. Um, and Jules likes the studio theme. Okay, so we're divided on this. Fun. <laughs> okay, wait. No. Julian likes option two. Leah likes the walking one. This is funny. Any more votes? Because so far we're even. <laughs> I like the vibe of this one, but I feel like I visually I like this one better. I don't know. We'll we we'll won't worry about it for now. But what do we think about the idea of the the box for the email? I'm, I think I'm quite liking this. Um, and so now my challenge becomes the content below, and what to do about that. Julian's <laughs> option two. Looks like walking might have more people saying it. I don't know. We can keep fighting about that. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want to keep going down the page or do I want to work on the menu? I think I want to work on the menu. Just seems fun. So let's bring in what I had here. Zoom a bit more on the walking one. We can try that for you. We're already zoomed quite a ways on this one. I have never heard of Nice Page, to be honest, Lucas. Somewhere in here is a button that we don't want anymore. Look, I'm actually going to name a layer for once. I'm going to change 
the inside marketing design artwork, but we'll use this one for now. And I don't think I want to do buttons. I think I want to do a text link. I should really turn this into a frame, shouldn't I? We're gonna wanna auto layout this. go to the Design Life website and try and steal something we've written in the past. Also, is Twitter down for anyone else? Because I could not tweet that I was going live. Oh, it seems to be back. Maybe? Well, maybe that was my power issue? I don't think so, though. Let me just let other people know that we're we're live. <coughs> Excuse me. I distracted myself. What was I doing? Oh yeah, looking on the Design Life website. We got some issues. <laughs> Why did I feel like I had to go to the design label website to copy some copy when we literally say this at the start of every single episode? Um, mm, what would you call yeah mm. I think I need to bring in the like icons to listen to it right here instead of making people go to a different site for it you know Welcome to the stream. Taking a break from designing to watch me do some designing. I love it. What other podcast platforms is normal to include? Like, should I include all of these as well? What did I do on... Safari? Oof. What is up with these buttons? <laughs> okay, I just did RSS. Okay. Hmm. Well, maybe I just bring in RSS as well then. Is 
this is going to be too long compared to the design life blurb, isn't it? Yes. What size text? Mm, it's only 16. Hmm. Well, maybe we need to consider different layouts for this as well. I don't know. Like, doesn't necessarily have to be two by two. I don't think you want to include the RSS there. Maybe this says... weakens it somewhat. put a stroke on this so you can actually see the edge for now. The new artwork I'll make sure has a clearer border. Right, what is feeling wrong? Definitely some form of um, hmm. Do I make it stretch all the way across? Probably. Craig, on my personal site, no, I haven't got any ratios. It's just whatever looks right. But I might end up needing to figure one out. Sorry, that was gross that I took a sip right into the microphone. <laughs> because this way we could have more space. Expand this out. I 
think this I need a ooh, it's time for a variant. Let's make a smaller text link. Where is my here we go. This is my design system. <laughs> um, so we'll have this one be and default will be um, and then we'll have another variant which will be smaller. Yeah, um, Ben, if you just joined, I was saying that I think what I'm going to do is bring the, the bottom nav idea to the inside marketing design site. The navigation is simpler and I want to make a change to this so that it doesn't look too similar to my own site, which like, especially with the direction I'm going with the top nav now, it's looking way too similar. So um, yeah, that'll be a change that I make later on and we'll use that idea there to try it out. this arrow can I flatten this arrow and will it nope what about if I yeah there we go there we go just so it looks more proportional I probably will then yeah that one won't be one I get onto for a while though to be honest That didn't make a big change, did it? Still. What 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 is the CTA for this? Show site is not right. Visit. Maybe it's just learn more? Get more? But basically these will be going out to um And how do I want to arrange these? This will link out to designlife.fm and out to um, the inside marketing design site. Do we go shadow on these images as well? I don't know. I don't want to go too heavy on the shadows. Go to site. Let's try that. That could work. Makes it clearer that you'd be leaving this site. Hmm. I've always struggled with that for inside marketing design because it's a video and an audio show. So like, yeah, you're still listening to it either way, but you can also experience it just by watching the video. Maybe, maybe it would be clearer that way, but I don't know how much that directly matters, if that makes sense. I think I like the idea of our shadow, but I'm going to um, have 
to come back to this later. So we'll just do it like that for now. I still don't know about this photo. Um, what I am going to do right now though is bring up... Let's just work in a separate frame for the navigation. Just so we can we can view this one without it. Yeah, for anyone who joined a little bit later, um, we had a debate earlier on about photos. Do we go with this one of the walking or this one, which is all like here in my in my office? Hey, for see, that's not what I'm doing today. I'm afraid. Um, if you'd like to book a mentoring call with me, we could go into details um, if you'd like. But that's not the purpose of this stream. I'm afraid. I always struggle with um, an active state. Maybe I want to, I mean, I did this for inside marketing design. Do I want to seal that back if I'm going to be changing the inside marketing design site? This was like the active and the um, hover state. Or let's just turn that off for now. Do I want to do this? I think I like this better. As both a hover and an active state. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that this one, the, the takeaway we're giving to people is saying, look at me, I leave the house. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's true, I do sometimes. Okay, um, I like that for now, I think. It matches with what I do for these, as I have them be dark purple on hover, so yeah, it's nice. Okay, now let's think about the products menu. And then I think I should move on to thinking about mobile for this as well. which for most content on my site, I just do as, like, as I build it. But for navigation, needs a bit more consideration. Oops. Eight AM for you, Devante, and you're, the first thing you're doing today is coming on YouTube and watching my stream. I am honored. It is just past three PM here in Spain. Okay, products. Did I mock th this up? I don't think I did. Um, is my iPad charged for me to do a bit of wireframing? No. Oh, yes, twenty percent battery. Okay. So for this, <clears throat> agree Eric, that is why I feel like I can't just go for the walking photo as well. God damn it, why is the Figma app on my iPad now not working? It's just not my day. Okay, well maybe no wireframe is happening.
Um, but what I think I want to do is essentially have like a, I'm just going to mock it up here. It'll be like the font and then I have two like call service things. Um, so yeah, do you, do you get the idea that I'd have the font taking up a big space and then um, mentoring calls and a marketing site audit next to it? Mostly because I just don't think I have a, a big, like there's not an image to accompany these ones. Um, and instead it might be an icon, maybe a hand drawn one. What would I draw to represent an audit? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that sort of thing makes sense. Ooh, with a magnifying glass over top of a website. Yeah. The font being the um, introductory product, if that makes sense, Julian. It, I guess it's the main thing that I want to promote. It's, it's visual, it's um, like a fairly low price point, so it's a really good way for people to support me if they enjoy my stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, so actually, let me bring this back. I shouldn't have deleted it. And where is my image of Grayscale? Hello over there in Belgium. What's the weather like in Belgium? Is it hot as fuck like it is here in Spain? but with some cute clouds. <laughs> what is the actual temperature here today? Oh, I think it's actually less today, which is nice. Feels like 31 right now, so 20, only 29. That's in Celsius, you can do the Fahrenheit conversion yourself. Yesterday it was at like, feels like 38 at some point. It was way too hot for my liking. What are my thoughts on animated or lossy vectors for portfolios? Um, I think for, for a portfolio, honestly, pretty much anything goes. It's your space to have fun. It's like your space online, right? Um, I have right now on my, on my site, if we go to charliemarie.com, I'm really interested in learning how Lottie animation works. Wait, why is my own site not loading? That is a concern. Um, hello? Is the internet having a day? Like that day the AWS went down? Why is my site not loading? Is my other site loading? Okay, that one loads. There we go. Okay, see this here, animating in? Um, that is actually a GIF. <laughs> oh good, I'm glad it's all working for you. Must have just been Safari. But I'm really interested in learning how to make it like um, loaded as a lottie animation instead of a GIF. I think I'm gonna do buttons in here? Or do I, ooh, well we definitely need a smaller button.
back over to the design system file. Okay, let's add another variant. I think was my text 16 pixels here? Yep. There we go, a cuter little button. I guess I should make all the different colours. And a white one. over here. Should I put the- I'm tempted to put the price in for Grayscale just because it shows how, like, entry-level product it is. Uh, I, MD Shamsol, are you asking to turn the volume up? Is things too quiet? Is that what you're saying? going to add the price. Um, embarrassingly, I can't remember what the lowest price one is. <laughs> $12. There we go. Ah, I was going to say 14 so it's even cheaper than I realized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about raising my prices for inflation or anything. Oh wait, so you are saying the volume needs to be louder? Hold on. Is it my microphone that's too quiet or the background music? Because my microphone is hard to do a lot with. Yes to which one? <laughs> Okay, I bumped up a oh, background? Okay. Well, I just bumped up my mic, so. Oops. How's that? Things better now? Maybe I'll just put twelve dollars. What styling did I use on this page? How 
about you just turn your computer volume up? Because um, that's as high as I can make my microphone. wrong to say because the vector pack is actually included in the higher the extended license cool thanks glad we got the sound sorted I'm not sure what to do about the the other two. How do I want to how do I want to handle this? Do we do some form of like container? Could do that, Jenna, and then I could make the the button could be green. I guess I didn't want to do the flag. Well, yeah, I guess I could just co copy myself and do the flag on the image, right? Um, can I copy that over here? Yeah. Let's try that out. became a teal button instead. Welcome, Lauren, first stream. Glad you could be here. Hmm, what do we think of that, Jenna? Maybe the, f the price could actually be a little larger. I think that's good. Yeah, it's less bitsy here and yeah, gives that image a little something. I think we could zoom in a little bit more on it though. Like that. Thanks for the suggestion. Okay. Now I gotta pull up my own mentoring page and see what I say about that. Um, a lot, way more than a one-liner than I'm looking for. Oh wait, I wrote something down here, didn't I? About it. Again, wordy. <laughs> Ooh, this is good. She says about her own writing. <laughs> I'm not so sure about how all this is going to go down, but... Thank you for asking, Finn community. I am well. It's been a good day. I went to the beach this morning. 
I lay in the sun and read my book and it was lovely. Hmm, I'm realizing that my problem here is the, if I have this in a, s in a square, the headings won't be in the same line. So that's not ideal. But what do I want to do about that? Yeah, Christy, we'll be doing some more next week, I think. Hopefully we'll get into building, even, next week. Thanks for joining while you could. Ooh. This is new, I've not noticed this before. Yeah, I'm gonna, there's gonna be an icon in here. I'll just put this in for now. But I still have the problem of the headings being on different planes. Let's just keep going with the, the idea though, just to see. And it also will make the whole thing taller. That's okay though. Hmm. I wonder if I show both versions of Grayscale too? I don't know. These are feeling too large. Maybe I make these headings smaller. I think my H4 is, yeah, that's not what I want. Um... Maybe if we do this then. the two options in the same hierarchy mm, kind of I fully expect hardly anyone to book the marketing site audit it's a new um, new thing that I'm gonna offer and like what I want to turn into more of my business but I'm just like getting it on the website for now and it's like well if someone wants to book it now we'll book it it's not something I'm gonna be heavily promoting um, Yeah, so it's definitely having mentoring at the top because I want to make that easier to find. And we could, of course, like if this area, oops, <laughs> we still have the design life image behind. Actually, let's just set this to fill. Julian would I ever do portfolio reviews on my channel I have um, in the past Jeff I stopped because quite honestly I found myself just giving the same exact advice pretty much to every single person 
Um, and that got a little bit boring for me, and I felt like it was a little bit boring for people to watch as well. But there is a bunch of older ones if you want to go look at them um, and see what that <laughs> general advice was. What's the different CTA for this? Because I've used get grayscale, so I don't want to say get in audit. Um, also, because I say it in the... I like request because hmm, although it does make a longer button might honestly do a learn more on this because it's yeah hmm. like this is uh, something that is we're talking like thousands of dollars to book. So it's probably going to be something people have questions about before hitting the purchase as well. Ooh, I like inquire. That is good. Thank you, Fire Well. Great suggestion. Um, and so yeah, like I said, I will draw. Did I draw? I feel like I drew these. Oh no, clearly I traced it. Okay. Um, I'll draw some icons for these, but I don't want to bother doing that right now. Uh, should we bring in like a noun project icon in the meantime, just so we have a placeholder? I know I said this is going to be a placeholder and now I'm like scrolling to find the perfect icon. <laughs> mobile breakdown for this and let me remind myself of the breakpoints in Webflow. I feel like yeah okay well let's let's think it through and I think the more I look at this I'm gonna go for this photo because of the like way that it ties everything together I wonder if no no
But this is kind of busy as well with the background. Okay, fine. I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> oh, did I not save this grid style? normally it's a margin maybe I want more though what's the next multiple hmm hoped to have a full navigation for longer than that. Yeah, I guess not. Thanks for your help, Jenna, and banging out. Okay, well, the walking photo clearly has some passionate um, support behind it. We won't get rid of it just yet. This could be nice. I'm not planning on having my navigation be sticky, so go with me here. Maybe if it's spread out completely. The footer currently just looks like this. So you, we, we worked on that yesterday, so you didn't miss it today. Yes, this is live. Hello. <laughs> what do you mean is the design live? Because no. <laughs> the site is not live yet. Pre-recorded and I'm just really good at like anticipating what people are going to say in the chat at any given time. <laughs>
yeah, I'm very on brand, aren't I? Um, a shame my hair is not currently on brand like it normally is. Incredibly biased, and I would choose Figma all day, every day. Blast dynamic content. <laughs> Do I need to make my heading smaller on this screen? Like, it'd be nice if it at least fit across two lines. Oh, I can make the art smaller, I guess. Have you ever told a story about the first time I died by here? I haven't. What would you like to know about it? Basically, um, the first time that I ever had purple in my hair was not actually dye. It was, uh, I got extensions. You could get these, like, synthetic... Like, I got a couple of streaks to have purple in my hair without bleaching it, because I was really afraid of bleaching it. Um, that was when I was, like, I don't know how old I would have been. It must I must have been out of high school, because we weren't allowed to do that sort of thing with our school uniform in high school. Um, and then from then on, I basically just kept going more and more and getting braver. Um, I did just the ends, like, um, no, first I think I put a, yeah, I, I ombre the ends of my hair so I dyed like this much of it, um, bleached like this much of it to put purple on top. Um, and then, I'm distracting myself at the same time, sorry. Oh. And then I, the next time I like bleached the ends, I just went further up, further up, further up until I like just bleached everything and tried all the different colors. Um, yeah, usually I do it myself and I've tried having what, what I would call like unicorn hair where I, I very carefully was like, do this bit green, this bit pink, this bit purple. So that then it all looked cool together, which did look really cool, but there's a lot of fucking effort. Okay, I definitely think these headings need to shrink on mobile. Probably to be the same size as these. I mean, yeah, doing your hair yourself, you really do need to um, just accept that it might go wrong and be okay with that. <laughs> but it is fun. Right now I just have some, if you can see, there's like leftover of some pink that I had last. I need to re-dye it. I'm actually planning on doing that tomorrow so that I can then um, record some, some videos. I like my hair to be coloured if possible for YouTube videos. I don't know why I don't give a fuck about streams. But <laughs> Yes, I will um, stream as much of the build as I can as well. Congratulations, Noelle. That's exciting. Just remember that you were hired for a reason. They chose you. There were doubtless, count, like, no doubt, countless other candidates for the role, right? And they saw something in your experience, in your resume, in your interviews that they liked and they picked you. Um, and so find some confidence in that, I hope. And when you work in-house as well, like, you know, like you're doing as a product designer, realize that everyone is there and has the same goal, right? Like you're all there to um, build the best product that you can for the target audience, for the company. Yeah. Okay, I have an 
idea for this bit. For this, I think I'm going to have grayscale go this way. And that will be smaller. We'll see how long the image needs to be before I bother adapting it. Ah, why didn't I group these things while I had the chance, huh? Nope. Oh, and I also made this 14 pixels, didn't I? Do you have any specifics that you're looking to learn, Noel? I think as, as a product designer, um, you might get a lot of value from my friend Femka's YouTube channel. I don't know if you've subscribed to her in the past, but definitely check her out. She has um, loads of great videos about that kind of thing. Let me show you her channel. Oh, is that not her URL anymore? No, that's not. Yeah. Oh, okay. Femke.design. Check out her channel. She's got loads about product design specifically. She's also my co-host on the Design Life Podcast. somewhere obviously I will like I don't know I never bother with spacing and stuff right now when I'm gonna be just making it myself in webflow but clearly we have issues <laughs> So then this image could be taller, which is kind of nice. Yes, Sarah, it is. But then that would be really long in my navigation. <laughs> That's what I have it called in the um, in the footer. But yeah, I couldn't get around that for the navigation. Yep, agreed. Sarah's channel is also awesome. Um, let's bring up hers too. I always spell your last name wrong. There we go. Check out Sarah's channel, folks. She's got lots of good stuff. 
There we go. More stuff about product design for Noel. Okay. I think that I'm satisfied that this idea works and that, yeah, there's some things that need to be figured out and like the spacing and things like that, but I think it's going to be okay. So what do we do when we get to smaller breakpoint though? Because I do like having this open for longer. Um... And I think when we get here and down here, which I think I'm just going to design this version. Let's save this grid. not showing. I actually think it's gonna be... Oh, right, because the columns <laughs> with their padding were too much. Okay. I think we'd go to a four column grid here and just... just have menu. I think on my current site, yeah, I've been a fan of writing menu and having it as a drop down rather than the icon. But I don't know, what do you think? Do I do the hamburger? I would, I feel like I would like to make use of Webflow's, um, Space yourselves evenly. <laughs> Maybe instead of saying menu, I could write like, okay, let's do it another version. I will, Noel. Um, probably next week we might get on to building this, if I'm lucky. I love that, Julio. <laughs> I also have a video about one page that I took from Figma to Webflow. I can't remember what page that was, but it's in... I think I have a Webflow playlist on my channel um, that you should be able to find it in there. Like, what if instead of menu it said something like this to be a little bit more interesting? Would you know that this is the menu to click on? Hey Devante, yeah, the full live stream will just exist on my YouTube channel after it's over. I still have that set so that anyone can watch it. So don't worry. There is not a direct import for Webflow, so you're essentially building based on the Figma design. explore more than menu but would you know that is the menu 
no, you don't need to know HTML and CSS, but it does, it helps you build things better in Webflow if you have an understanding of the basics. I'm not on Medium, just on my own blog. Like menu better, Noel. I also don't know about the drop down because I feel like I would like to um, make use, yeah, of some of Webflow's things where they have some cool, like how the menu can come in from the side and stuff like that, and do it automatically. Hmm, that could be interesting. I'm honestly gonna write for now. I might write this. Or maybe. Because I just have a feeling that it won't end up being actually dropping down that I do for it. Say this, as someone said. I might go for this for now. I'm just gonna do the casual park this. I am like, I need to Marie Kondo my Figma board sometimes because I keep everything. <laughs> you never know what might be an idea you want to come back to, you know? Um. This is a pixel off. There we go. Good point, Matt. Good point. I like how this looks actually as well. I feel like the icon with the text holds the space well. Honestly, I think things are just going to stack, so I don't know how much I'll bother to mock things up. Because, like I said, I might have it be a full screen thing, potentially. That could be fun. up more than that. I think the idea is going to work and that is all we need to know for now. Okay. Do I want to go into Photoshop and play with these photos a little bit to see what we can do about them? Why the redesign? Um, my current site is not meeting my needs for it at the moment. Um... It promotes my content, but it doesn't have good space for me to promote the products and services that I offer. And I also just felt like a change. <laughs> okay, let's come into here and deal with this. So I'm gonna add in some form of like, you know, stuff going down. I do still like the idea of this whole 100 view height thing. Maybe I need to mock this up larger to actually demonstrate that idea a bit better. See you next time. Thanks for joining us. What would it look like if this in here said?
Yeah, it's like I can do it on desktop. I do know Al, that is one of the new things that will be um, showcased on my site. I think for this to work like in build, inside marketing design needs to not be on top of this image. Maybe here I don't have the Apple Podcast, Spotify, YouTube links, and instead I just have the button. No, wait, I have a microphone icon that I used on my. I still want to use this idea. Yeah, exactly. Um, I really want my website to be my home online, right? Covering all the things that I'm currently working on, that I offer, the content that I make. Um, really like a hub, yeah. How do I choose my purple? I have no idea. I think I probably just played around in a color picker until I got one that I was like, this is my color. <laughs> um, this will link out to the main podcast site. Do you know what, Noelle? My favorite color now is no longer purple. Shocking, I know. It's probably like pastel pink. I'm trying to look around and see if I've got anything pastel pink on me, but yeah. Pastel pink. It's probably my favorite color at the moment. Maybe I'm thinking about the information of this section wrong. Because I'm mentioning my book here. If only I had a book title. <laughs> I think once I have a book title, I'll make a call out section like this about it. But for now, maybe no more needs to be said about it. I'm not a freelance designer, no.
How do I export this into an actual domain? You don't, you build it in Webflow. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. There's services out there where, where it's like, says that it'll just take a Figma file and make a good site, but I don't trust him. Thanks, Lauren. So yeah, do I have these in here or do I just... Or do I bring in the same? I think wireframing is important to clarify your thinking and your ideas. Maybe this photo shouldn't be here and I should bring in... Like, do I just put the podcast artwork? Exactly, Ben, exactly. <laughs> Getting concerned about how that'll go, um, like how that'll be, that's going to be a nightmare for building, like making it responsive, you know? Unless I just had it always, you know, positioned to the right, it might be okay. Or unless I absolute position this on top of the image. Like, and don't have it embedded. There is quite a... Like, this empty space here is calling out for it, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, and with the fact that if I'm going to do 100 view height, I don't want to deal with positioning a graphic on this image. Decision made. if the like that could get too complex here because I've got um, you know like the logo things happening as well Ooh, I just had an idea for this do I want to try being like
Interesting, Ben. Why does that lower an accessibility score to say inside of a link? Because isn't it being descriptive about where you're heading? What is my hand resting on? My trackpad. Sorry if I'm missing stuff. Feel free to post questions multiple times if um, I didn't get to you. Do I want to make these feel more like clickable? Maybe I need to give up on the idea of even having the logos here to start with. But I don't feel ready to give up on them just yet. <laughs> Wrist rest? Honestly, it's just one from Amazon, I'm pretty sure. Nothing fancy. Definitely needs replacing. like not just in the call out why the heck these logos are here maybe that's the problem maybe it's with a better arrow. What am I drinking today? Well, I was drinking a Dunkin' Donut smoothie. <laughs> and now it's just water. The coffee was finished a long time ago. feeling somewhat better to me. I think I need to mix up the color of this arrow though. Let's try something different. Um, now I want to see what this looks like without the boxes. without boxes. Do I need to bring in more, like a couple more logos? Yes, good point Sankalp. Um, it'll need a minimum height as well for the content.
let's just see what it would look like with a couple more logos. Um, I want to bring in... Bring in Duist. I want to bring Notion in, I think. Um, mm-hmm. Definitely always challenging. Yeah, you're right. Um, the ConvertKit website is a custom coded WordPress. Um, we're shifting to not be using like a WordPress theme. It's going to be a headless CMS on, on WordPress. Um, but I don't want to custom code shit. <laughs> not on my own time. So that is why my personal site is um, not in that. Oh, what? Why'd you only bring that with you? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. Sorry, Notion team, if anyone is watching. I get around um, this whole logos situation is I will put this in a frame that is at the same height as the rest um, so it essentially just yeah is the, the the actual image itself is the right height but the logo within it is smaller because it's uh, like proportional logos slider. Ooh, I haven't, Steven. That sounds difficult to build. <laughs> but it does sound like it'll be cool. Right, Eric? Yeah, I think it's giving it a bit more balance, right? Um, taking up a little bit more space. And maybe I need to play around with like where things are, like maybe having Loom and Notion next to each other is not a good idea. a bit better but yeah I think I think we're in a good spot with this um, maybe a design pattern I'll establish because I think that's what I've done so far yeah is that a link with an arrow like this is gonna take you off my site to somewhere else feel happy with that section and I like this idea of trying the 100 view height thing it's not something I've done before so yeah I like the idea of trying that out 
Um, and I still need to add in my like, I've just put this here as a placeholder, but I want to have stuff basically flowing along. Um, I could move this image over. I don't know. <laughs> this is my problem. How is it going to put people off listening to the podcast if they see that this is on my wall? Would this put you off listening to a podcast? I don't know. But then part of me is like, well, this is me. I say fuck. So, and it's on my wall. Like, it lives next to me. Okay, let's move on. Um, do we want to make this even taller? Oop. Yeah, that's right. It says fork. <laughs> exactly, Lauren. It would put you off listening to it? I'm feeling self-conscious recently because I had a comment on YouTube. I used the word shit and someone had a hissy fit about it. So I was like, oh wow, if we're complaining about that. Okay, well that's good. Maybe it'll just be an Easter egg for those who, um, you know, those who spot it. Just trying to get some sort of consistency and spacing here. So this is a 48 pixel unit that I will have as my padding. I feel like I, this one needs something. Maybe this is where I bring in the icon that I'm gonna draw for this. Let's just put it in for now. Exactly, Edwin. I'm glad you think that. Um, that's why I think this is gonna be a great, I'm gonna replace the, this is the current podcast cover art and I'm gonna replace it with this photo. This is gonna be the new cover art. This photo is very old. I just feel like, I don't know, just want to change. <laughs> some things yes it is okay how long have we been streaming for by the way i've lost my youtube window oh wow here we are at nearly two hours okay let me pop over here so you can see what i'm drawing Like, do I draw a, ugh, yeah, this is. Mm. I don't think that's gonna have the effect that I want.
Colors of the purple were created before starting the design of the website. Yep, they were. Um, all of these colors are, have been my brand colors for years now. Not ever since I started my YouTube channel, but pretty close. Maybe I want to do these in a verta. would be good. So if this is also a hundred view height. Would I wanna put this in another box? Some sort of like since hopefully this won't feel like a box on the screen. Tips on creating brand colors. Um, I would say for a personal brand, start with like a color you like and then create a set of ones that tie in with it, essentially. Um, you wanna have some contrast, like I have my, the teal, green and purple. Um, green is not opposite purple on the color wheel, but it does contrast nicely. <laughs> Oof, oof, I don't know, UX tips. I am not an app designer, so do not feel qualified to answer that. I don't know what I would change. What would you change? going to be tricky again to have this on this side. I wonder if I need to think about bringing in another photo here. Let's look at my photos, shall we? wonder if we go for one like this where I look all studious but I'm also don't look like I'm on a call hmm. I don't know okay let's think how might this look if I'm gonna delete this for now brought the testimonial quotes out into this section. photo somewhere or did I delete it in the end mm. oh 
Ooh, maybe it's not a photo of me. Maybe it's like a photo of my space. I have never used Figma dark mode sand kelp. I don't even know how you add it. <laughs> you activate it. I'm not a dark mode person. Hola Ricardo. Ooh, um, speaking of color palettes, this is one of my favorite sites for it. Coolers. Okay, yeah, 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 cookies. Start the generator, um, and it just gives you like this is a perfectly nice looking color palette. You hit your space bar, and it gives you another one. If you like a color, you can lock it, and then it'll change around it to find other colors that work well with it. I don't know how it functions, but I think it's pretty great. <laughs> Good for ideas, that's for sure. <laughs> That's a good one, Slayer. <laughs> okay, back to adding in my picture. Let's just drop this one in. I want to see how it works. Why does my balcony have to have green on it? Ruining everything. Mm, and with the sky. No, that is not going to work. Okay. What else do I have inside? Yeah, me and Nora, perfect. Book a mentoring call with me and Nora. <laughs> Poor Seb, that was the photos that we got of him because he is a little camera shy. <laughs> I don't want another one of me sitting at my computer. Like my iMac, like sitting on my desk. Hmm. Ooh, interesting idea, Josh. Could happen, I guess. I could also just use like a photo of my office. No, I think it needs to be a photo of me because I'm the person that you're booking a mentoring call with. Seb actually doesn't have a favorite blanket. Seb has a favorite pillow though. <laughs> He's currently sleeping on the day bed beside me. This is me trying to make him stay on my lap for a photo. <laughs> well, Nora Nu just sits there. Ugh. She's so cute. There we go. Perfect. Perfect photo. See how her eyes, one pupil is wider than the other? That's her, um, she's got, what does the vet call it? Neuritis? Um, because of her leukemia virus. So her eyes don't open wider than that. I mean, her pupils don't go wider than that. There's a bunch of photos of me vlogging. That's kind of nice. I look approachable. But now we're wearing a different outfit. Thank you. 
Maybe this isn't a color anymore. Maybe it's... No, let me think about what's coming next. Coming next is this, which I still feel pretty happy with. Use the landing standing images and then the walking one on the landing page. What do you mean, Jack? What landing page? Do you mean that I could use the walking one in here? Is that what we're saying? Because you're right. Mm, I don't know if that feels this right next to this piece. I will have a go at photoshopping this, but I don't know if I trust my... It's gonna... Like, won't that change the colour of the lavender by me as well? So what the fuck? That's clearly a cat scratch on my arm. <laughs> Yeah, such a good photo set, huh? Paula did a great job. Okay, so this is what's going to come next. So... I can't use a stroke for this. Ooh, what if we do a... So slightly like this. You like the sitting one? top of the design with black shirt you think use that one in here and and the walking one in the top is that what you're meaning uh yeah that's not bad actually but i was coming to like that more for this top of the page Keep the way where it is. You are definitely team walking photo, aren't you, Jacques? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I like this one for now. quote that I have. This one feels friendlier, I think. Right? Why isn't it giving me the thing to increase the space? like the longest quote is this one here by Marielle. Okay. 
okay, so it's not too much longer. Oops, I just stretched the image, didn't I? Oh, I think we've reached the end of the playlist, which means we've been going for about two hours. Yep. Ooh, do I want to try some sort of scrapbooky, overlappy thing? With this. No, I do not. I think I'm gonna cut this line from the middle and then the quote shorter. Oops. Maybe. Just like we had no background on logos, right? Oh, I just realized. Wait, what? Clearly, I have not set up good type styles here. Um, let's do 16 for this. Maybe I'll just, um, yeah, I don't know. Do I want to make this a carousel? Maybe instead I have, forget how you break the again as well. some sort of dividing line. I think it's always bad when I start inventing random design patterns. No, that's not right.
text a different color. Hmm. I worry in doing that that it would look like it's clickable or something. Avery, welcome to the live stream. Yeah, I like the arrow better as well. Let's give this an idea. And maybe it goes like this. This one would be grayed out to start with. That could work. When you were discussing with your higher ups about your next move in the company to my current position, what were the, some of the deciding factors led to the position you currently hold? First and foremost, that it was a role that was needed within the company. That was the biggest deciding factor, was that, um, yeah. The exec team decided that they wanted a, someone in a creative director role to be contributing at more of a strategic level. And then that they wanted me to be in it. Um, what else was a deciding factor? That's, that's the main thing really, is that it's the team structure that they wanted to have. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Would I go full, like since I'm doing 100% view height, oh no, that would get messy I think there. Yeah. Forget that, forget that idea. But I could connect it to this potentially. Nah. Okay. I feel pretty happy with that. Let's, um, it's time for a new version I think. <laughs> Let's come over here. And we'll get rid of this. It's all feeling a bit vain to have so many photos of myself, but I mean, it's a personal website after all. And I want to have more like connecty things. So again, I'll put this here as my reminder. Um, the way our org structure is right now is, so I report to our VP of growth but we don't currently have a VP of growth. He left earlier this year and our CEO Nathan is filling in while we're hiring someone for that role. But I report to the VP of the growth team. That sucks, I'm sorry to hear that. What have you done to try and show them the value of the work you're doing? Um, like, I wonder, is there a way you can get more involved in the data and point to the results of your work to help them understand it better? Do some user testing, pull out things that users have said. This is, by the way, definitely the sort of thing that I go into with people in um, my mentoring calls. I'm now feeling like I don't want the icon, like it's adding too much complexity. Okay, and then we have this. Something I really don't like about this, but, but I don't want to mess around with it for now. I think it's that this needs to continue on further. Like if this is the end of the page. Okay, 
Then we go into my videos. So how do I bring the idea that I started of the carousel here to this? Well, let's use these icons because I think they're better. Yeah, fairly high in the food chain. I guess so. I mean, we're a small company, so everyone is pretty close to the to the CEO. He's a great guy. He's not scary at all. You can just hit him up, have a chat. <laughs> not the same there we go better <laughs> uh, this can probably still work marketing design art director Oh, that's hard, yeah, when you're dealing with um, an overload of work. Yes, these are going to be handpicked videos. So I have um, a playlist on my channel. Let's go to it. We can overwrite this tab. Oops. This playlist here. Um, I need to update it, but this will be what I put on here. So it's, I'm going to handpick like 10 videos that I feel are the best representation of the kind of content that I make. And I feel like this needs the YouTube icon in the button, right? set what this is. How do I do that? I've forgotten. Oh. Yep. There we go. Okay. So I think that worked. Let's try it. Oh, okay. 
I need to add this into one of the existing ones. Did that work? Still getting used to this whole component property thing. Yeah, there we go, cool. But did it turn it on for everything? Okay, no, so I want it to be off by default. How do I do that? Oh, I guess I just gotta turn it off everywhere. Which is easy enough to do. Oh, I'd only used it in that one place. Okay. Um No, I didn't find the TikTok icon yet, but I also did not look for one. <laughs> What's gonna happen next? I'm determined to have another complete pass of the page done before I sign off for the day. Oh, okay, thanks, Asaro. Let me do that. It's like selecting this. Okay, there we go. And so now I should manually turn it on here. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so my idea here was To have th this be clickable through to the category and I'm not sure if it's working maybe it needs like an underline or maybe it should look like I should say something more like this hang on let me work on this idea I think that um, it's important that you have a way to share your work with potential employers. And so... Hey. Hmm, that's weird. Hmm. Normally when you apply auto layout it like knows that this is a rectangle so... I 
kind of like this idea. Because this is the design style of the category tags um, on my blog. Bye, Jacques. Yep, we'll, we'll see <laughs> what we end up with. I'll probably keep changing my mind right up until the last minute, let's be honest. Mm, I don't know how well this works in practice. Maybe I'm not a fan. This is what happened yesterday, is that I got to this point on the page and my brain broke. And I feel it happening again. I think I might need to sign off, even though I haven't finished the full pass of the page. That's okay. Um... Ooh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Do I do 100 view height again there? I'm really happy with how this top part is looking though. I think this is feeling much better and we definitely made progress. Um, ooh, interesting. Interesting, Azara, interesting. Yes, I feel like I could use a break. And honestly, a cocktail. It's 5 p.m. and I'm on holiday. Okay, we're gonna end it here. Um, I don't know if I will get to stream tomorrow. Let me look at my calendar, because I have, ooh, I might. Okay, yep. I think that I can come back tomorrow afternoon for another stream in between some mentoring calls, which will be good. Yeah, so how about I see you tomorrow? Um, go to cocktail. In the summertime, a margarita. Also a fan of an espresso martini, a Moscow mule, if I'm ordering at a bar, an old fashioned, but I can't bother to make that myself. <laughs> yeah, three days in a row. This is what happens when I'm off work. Um, using my time for this. I'm really happy with how this is looking. Maybe, maybe we'll get into photoshopping tomorrow as well um, and see what we can do about this image here. Cause I think it could be nice to, if I use this up the top, then it, this same outfit down here feels less like random I guess because then there's a mix of the two outfits and it's not like I'm wearing this shirt and everything and then all of a sudden wearing this fuzzy jumper <laughs> but yeah we'll see you tomorrow thank you for joining me everybody this was super fun you're all such a good bunch um I just really appreciate having your company and all your design feedback and all of that as well as I work through this so yeah Hope you have a good rest of your day. Some of you have been here the whole two and a half hours. Like you, Eric, I feel like I remember seeing you showing up right at the start. So thanks for hanging out. Um, and I hope it, hope it was worth your time because it was definitely uh, valuable for me. All right. Um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow around probably the same time as we went live today. Yeah, which was about 2.30 uh, Spain time. Thanks, everybody. Bye.